Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm just so happy and excited at the moment. We have just started, I hate it when everything just looks so messy. We have just started a new project on the house. I'm hoping it's one of the final projects that we have to do on the house to make it, you know, our ideal house scenario. We are currently working on our front driveway and like new flower beds, new drive, new patios, new trees going in. After we finish the back garden and that just looks so immaculate now and it's completely finished and I'm thrilled to bits. The driveway is kind of like the last thing that we need to do so that the entire kind of the patio, the capietra tiles all kind of wrap around the whole house and it all, you know, you can walk to the front to the back of the house and it all looks like it's from the same house. That's the sort of idea. So this has been like obviously the final project for a reason because, you know, with the amount of workmen and skips that we've had on the drive and everything else, if we'd had a driveway done first, obviously it would have got ruined. So it's the last thing to be done so everyone can get out of the drive and it it's gonna look perfect. Um, so we just started it this week. The builders are here now. I'm surprised that you can't hear pneumatic drills again. But yeah, they've made a start this week. So I'll be able to show you a few little updates. As much as I'm able to show you, I will, with also retaining privacy. Um, but yeah, I'm just so, so thrilled that it's starting. So yeah, I've just spent a number of days this week just out there with the builders talking through, talking through like what, which of the trees to chop down and where the different pathways are going, the width of the flower beds, all that kind of thing just all needs doing. And I need to buy some more lights. That's one thing I need to do. Ooh, I just realized as well what was just in the background of that shot. Luckily it's only small and you won't have seen it, but I have been working on my next collection with Edge of Ember. I think I mentioned it actually a few weeks ago. We've been working on a brand new collection, my season three collection, my third collection with them. Never know what to call it. I mean, it does have a name. Obviously I can't tell you yet, but we're currently working on it and we've just received first samples and it's looking absolutely incredible. Like I think this is the best. I know it's obviously gonna be like the best collection so far because it's the newest one, but this collection just feels a lot more kind of heightened. It just has a really premium edge to it and the materials we've used are just beautiful. I'm so excited. Anyway, just need to get myself packed up because we are on our way to Liverpool today. Um, we're going to Liverpool. I didn't mention Rebecca is also over from Chicago. It's why I didn't film a vlog last week because I was just busy with friends and busy with Rebecca and just needed a week off. This week, we're on our way to Liverpool. Rebecca's coming too. We're going as a full team actually, which is nice because Flannels have just opened their brand new Liverpool store. So this vlog will contain a paid for advertorial with flannels. So I'm just going to bring you along to the store. I haven't seen it yet. It's a brand new concept store. There is a Barry's boot camp in there. There are restaurants. There's obviously the shopping experience. There's a beauty floor. So I'm just going to go along and explore the brand new store in Liverpool for a bit and bring you with me. So this is going to be a really lovely fun vlog. You'll also be able to see a bit of Rebecca for once because she's never in any of the vlogs. And um, yeah, just the whole team. Very much looking forward to it. Final touches. I'm gonna go for my oversized Jacquemus blazer. I think today I've been like desperate to wear this recently, so I'm just gonna throw this on over top today. I'm wearing my white VB shirt. I did steam this earlier, but I'm starting to realise that steaming shirts isn't the way forward. I think you can only iron a shirt. It just doesn't quite get to it the same as an iron would. But anyway, um, underneath, I still have McCartney leggings. I'm kind of living in these at the moment. Sorry, this room is such a mess. I've got like socks everywhere. Another sock. And I'm just gonna take my little Chanel with me that I got from Luxury Promise. I like it. Blue, yellow, neutrals, very, very me. Just wow, it's a lovely day today. Thought I'd show you the hydrangeas. Look at the hydrangeas! This is the dream. This is exactly what I always wanted. My dream hydrangeas. Some of them are absolutely enormous. Look at this one. Huge. Oh, they're just so stunning. I'm so thrilled with them. The lavender is still so bright and beautiful here. The tiny buds, it's beautiful. We've got the jasmine again budding, looking gorgeous. All up the trellises. My lamb's lettuce. <laughs> my peas, my cute little peas. Ooh, buggies. Ooh. 
My spinach has been chopped down a bit. Carrots are looking incredible. Can't wait for these. Might make a carrot cake and rock it. I need to, I need to harvest this a little bit. But yes, the main event is the hydrangeas for sure. It's exactly what I pictured when I put when I wanted these put in. Oh. Your whole team with you. That's great. Like, whole team. Mm. And we'll get some mm. Whole donuts. team. Mm. Team. <laughs> Rolls too hard to bend. <laughs> Don't want to tell you more about my straw. <laughs> Between me and my straw. Just got an eye I had to get a little boat. I've not been here in years. Must be 15 years since I was. Oh, on here. On, in the dark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know the little yellow buses that used to go into the water? Oh, That's yes. where they used to oh have them, gosh, yeah. Oh did. You don't do that anymore. Did it once sink? Once sink. Oh, it <laughs> sank. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I love this because they have one. Look at this. Just got in the room. It's a beeline straight for this cocktail. How sweet. To Victoria, we absolutely love working with you. So happy to have you on board for another year at Flannels Beauty. Oh yeah, guys, I don't know if I mentioned. <laughs> so last year I was an ambassador for Flannels. This year again, I am a Flannels Beauty ambassador. Woo! Really, really big deal. And I'm so proud. And it's just amazing when a brand kind of renews their contract with me as an ambassador. It's a really like massive moment and a really proud moment, so. So we're actually gonna celebrate tonight. Yeah, we're definitely gonna celebrate. Wow. Oh, the Boulevardier, please. Mm. Is there any booze behind it? Yeah. <laughs> Trick. How cool, though. Is this where they built the Titanic? Here. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it, it might be. I mean, it's not a very big space to build such a massive cruise ship. Say that yeah, but it was never that big. It That's the thing. That big, it was wasn't it. that big. It, it wasn't like that monstrosity over there. But have you seen the the pictures of like modern day cruise ships compared to the yeah, Titanic? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's like a boat, isn't it? Yeah. It's really, really small. But did you know that one of the um, the chimneys on it? Oh yeah, it was. It was like, a feature. Did they do it on purpose though for a design aesthetic? Yes. Honestly though, I tell you what, a cruise ship is not in my list of things I ever want to do. Flash forward ten years. Hi guys, welcome to the next vlog. We're on a cruise ship. It might be because I'm very, I get very travel sick on boats, but they just don't really appeal to me really. Going on a cruise ship. I know a lot of people love them. I'd give it a go. Maybe if it's the Disney cruise, that's about it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my outfit. Should we go up here? There's a bit more lights. So you can see it in its true tones. <laughs> this is a pink pastel dream. Look how pretty this is. So everything is from flannels. Beautiful pink. It's all Prada as well. So it's this beautiful black bralette. I'm not too sure why I don't already own this. It's literally got me all over it, doesn't it? It's so me, isn't it? I love it. Um, Prada skirt, gorgeous midi skirt. I think it is probably a size too big, so I'm kind of wearing it low waist. Whereas I feel like usually I would go up here, but I kind of like it low waist. Kind of feels kind of cool, do you not think? This kind of ties it all together, this little Prada cardi in this sparkly fabric. It kind of reminds me of like school discos and the kind of things you'd wear to school discos, this kind of fabric, that like Lurex. But it looks so cute, the little Prada. Oh, it's nice, the little logo on it. Yeah, pulls the whole look together, I think. And then I have matching pink accessories, a little, uh, I think this is a small Jimmy Choo Bon Bon bag in the pink. And then, to match, look at the colour of these shoes. How incredible are they? Honestly, just beautiful. So I've got a full theme going on here. Yeah. I'll link the whole outfit down below, guys, for you. Like I said, it's all from flannels. Yeah, so now we're gonna go get some drinks and then on to our dinner at Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool with no, with no vowels. Is that right? Yeah. So how do you say it? Liverpool with no vowels in it. Liverpool. This place is big. Do you believe in ghosts? No. No. No, no I don't either, really. Well, to, to believe in it, I'd have to have experienced the ghost and 
Yeah, maybe. Have you ever experienced the ghost? No. As much as people say, oh, they feel things and whatnot. I feel like you can feel energies. I feel like you can I feel, feel energy. Like, it, like if you went into a place, like, I, I don't know, like say like a church, obviously it feels grand, doesn't it? When you walk in there, it's like, yeah. oh, it's that aura. And I also think like if something horrible has happened in a place, say like a murder and stuff, you can yeah. feel it's almost the air's thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just so, the energies in place, yeah. I think. Because I very much believe in vibrations and energies anyway. What the ghost? No. Nah, nah. Nah. By the way, I had to put this little jacket on again. I've really gone on theme here, and again, Prada. It's a full Prada look. How beautiful is this? I just thought I'd be really cold. You're a yeah, northern yeah. girl up north. Come on. Know, You've been in the south too long. Just to get to the restaurant, and then I can take it off. And then have I mean, it's a very food. nice coat. Yeah, they're gorgeous. The whole outfit. Yeah, it's cute. Just sort of like leaving it open. Oh, I just don't even know what cuisine we're going for. Think about me, it's just like ordinary cuisine. It's not like Japanese or anything like that. Burgers and chips. I wouldn't mind a burger, you know. I could eat a burger. I yep. have to be careful of my oh. outfit. I don't ruin it. <laughs> I'm super glad I did my hair. <laughs> Looks great. It's a good joke. Untamed lion look. <laughs> like jungle, jungle vibes. Sing along to some yellow submarine. Name another song. Um, shout, scream and shout, scream, swing and shout, scream and shout. Hey Jude, or is that just Paul? Is Hey Jude a Beatles song? Do you know? Yeah, this is. Yeah. Can't even explain. This is literally my ideal dish: homemade crumpet, rare bit cheese, and crab. Oh my goodness me! Then there's this asparagus that looks delicious, and then these beetroots. Okay, I'll get a new one. No, honestly, we're having the loveliest time in here. The food is insane, and the service is even better. We are like it. Good morning. Right, today's agenda is very much flannels, 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 flannels. We are first of all starting off, well I am first of all starting off with Barry's boot camp. I've never tried Barry's, I've got friends that are like addicted to it. So today's little outfit from flannels, little two-piece. Castor. From a brand called Castor. Really comfortable, super soft, really quite mu much more much more in the kind of affordable category, it's like premium. Yeah, so I'm ready for a little workout. Like I said, I've never tried Barry, so I'm excited. This is like an abs and ass class. So this is very much up my street. So yeah, can't wait. I've got all my little flannels bits. We're going to check out now and get to the store. And then, yeah, full day ahead. Beauty Beauty doesn't do anything. Valentino. Yeah. They look great. Had a quick shower. Oh, it was awesome though. Honestly, it was so awesome. Like 30 minutes of cardio, so many squats, so many squats, and then bits of abs. It was mainly more squats than abs. There wasn't many abs, but it was great. Now into another flannels and fin of the Prada. Prada look. Love it. This is this is so great. This shirt, isn't it? Some crop shirt, little Prada band, and then these are almost like parachute pants. They're just a little tiny bit long for me. I need to get some Kirby grips. Are they meant to be long or? They're meant to, obviously meant to be really, really long. They look amazing now, I love them. Looks so cool, don't they? And then my little Jimmy Choo sling backs. Um, I'm just saying, look what they've got here. Quaddy and some protein powder. Some of my fave. Babe. This is all like the fitness floor. And now we're gonna go and see Dr. Esho and he's gonna give me a one of those. Facial. Girls. So when you see yourself in the mirror when you look at your skin, what are your wants and what are your concerns? Well, usually my skin's a lot better, but at the moment I've got loads of these little under skin bumps everywhere. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because I'm putting too much skincare on or sometimes that can actually happen. But usually mm. I do cleanse tone, eye cream, some kind of like oil serum, mm -hmm. then a hydrating serum, mm -hmm. and then a moisturiser. Okay, so there's a lot of hydration. Do you find your skin is tends to be dry? 
Yeah, fairly dry to normal. Okay, so shit. mixed combination. Yeah. Okay, so the problem is what happens with that, and that's interesting enough, is because you might have noticed the humidity is quite a lot right now. Yeah. And when it becomes quite humid, um, and you are having lots of hydration to the skin, particularly with heavier oils, you can get more congested in your skin. Right. So I always say skin regimes are good, but also they should be seasonal. Um, right. So if you're in a hot climate or more humid climate, be a bit more lightweight. Try and reduce the amount of oils you use because your skin will be producing and there was a response to the humidity right. and that probably can why you're slightly a bit more congested than you normally are yeah. in that way. But otherwise your skin looks great and so you take care of your skin which is good. Well I've just come out of a berries. Okay. So yeah. I need to like cleanse I only yeah. put on like a really light coat of yeah. tinted moisturizer. Right. Well we got you today with that okay. Uh, final thing I wanted to do was how squeamish are you? <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> Is this, is this, is this, is this is a bit of a because like I asked your manager before and I said, how squeamish do you see? And I said, so because what we're going to do after that to finish is to boost the skin with something, no downtime, we're going to be using something called Aqua Gold. I don't know if you've ever heard of that no. before. So it's amazing. So it's this small microneedling chamber that's got 24 karat gold needed needles. Wow. And what we do is we place in that chamber anything in that fluid. You can use even Botox, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, whatever. And we just do little tiny needles into the skin which hydrate the skin. Doesn't leave any bleeding or downtime. It's really good at hydrating oh. the skin. Now, what you put in it is up to the doctor. Right. And one of the great things you can put in it is something called PRP. I don't oh. know if you've heard of that. I've had it. Oh. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so, yeah so this is it. So that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, it doesn't have to, there's no force thing. There's two options of what we can put in that chamber. Okay. And you're totally in the driving seat. I don't mind. Yeah. So one, we can put PRP into that. And that can be great. Or we can put a combination of hyaluronic acid and some other bits in there. Okay. Completely up to you, depending on your level of squeamish, just because obviously yeah. one means I need to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the hyaluronic acid. Yeah, I, 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 also, I, also, let's go for that. Let's 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 let's. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's had it before. I know. I'm going to take his blood. He was straight away. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then move. Oh my gosh, that's, that's it. Okay, I'm going to zip you in. <laughs> So I'm going to get quite clammy in this, am I? You can do, yeah. <laughs> so this helps with lymphatic drainage. So it'll kind of almost massage. And is it, is it kind of like waves of frequency? Yeah, absolutely. So they're compression pockets. So you're going to feel the compression move up the body, but they overlap. So instead of just clamping up the body, they're going to be able to bring up and then back down. We're going to start at your waist and you head down and then back up again. Okay. So I'm just in. Have you done one of Barry's boot camps before? No. Somehow, no. Like I've got so many friends who are in love with Barry's. Yeah. And go every like every week, but I've just never tried it. Yeah. So I'm glad I got to try it today. It was brilliant. It was really good. So the hydrofacial that we're doing today, it uses the vortex suction system, and what happens is we, as we're doing the treatment, the serum goes into the pore and then flushes the pore out. Um, by getting sucked back into the tube and I can show you the gunk jar at the end. Ooh, I'm really excited about that bit. <laughs> Are we going to show the gunk jar bit? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant. Are you ready? I think so. I'm just going to get a massive spurt of air. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like absolutely knocked out. I know, like, ooh. Feel it. I can feel it. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And this is really nice cold air into my nostrils. Gosh, this is so fun. Ooh, can you see this moving? Oh, is it getting tighter? Yeah. This is some futuristic stuff right here. Yeah, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Absolutely. This is cool. Ooh, now it's like, it's finding my belly now. <laughs> no, it's loose now. Oh, no, now it's, now it's on the legs. Yeah, it's just kind of like tightening around it. So you see this chamber? So okay. this is the aqua gold chamber and inside it you see that kind of sludge like um, material. That's what actually hyaluronic acid looks like. Okay. You know, like it's free flowing. Right. So you know and this is an ultra lightweight hyaluronic acid because normally the hyaluronic acid you put on your face topically it's got two large colored dots inside that actually go deep in your skin so it tends to just sit on the surface. Oh. Um, with this because we then need it with these small chambers at the top it goes deeper into the skin, so it delivers a deeper hydration. Oh, wow. It's also got vitamin C mixed in there as well. Incredible. So, so it'll be nice and glowy tomorrow then. Nice and glowy. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. 
So what we tend to do is usually just pull this again. You're going to feel just tiny prick, but nothing big. How's that feel? Yeah, fine. Good. And you can see it coming out, can't you? I think on there. This is great. Like this is something like literally I can do it myself. Oh wow. No wonder you've got such amazing skin. Oh man, you know what? It's usually bad, but I've just had like opening this within the space of time we had. It was a bit of a stressful. Oh, it wasn't really. Honest, but you know, it's coming together beautifully. Oh, it You know, has. the responses that people have had and said so far, it's great. Oh, it's always important for me, but yeah. you know, to give a certain level of service, not just good treatments at the same time. Yeah. So when did you set up your first clinic? Wow, so. I think it was now 2015 oh, wow. was my first, it was a small tiny room and so I look back now and it's a bit crazy for okay. me because, yeah, particularly wow. when we open this one, you know, you're facing on billboards and everything else where wow. it's kind of humbling moment, great. Honestly, all the treatments I've had, you'll have to see in a video yeah. of it. I was inside this suit, yeah. like a lymphatic drainage suit, yeah. and I had oxygen and this amazing mic. What was it like? My gold mic for needles. Mic for needling, and I've had cleansing, and the hydrofacial and the yeah. LEDs. It's been <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. So, oh, as we promised as well. Oh. So goodies, 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 goodies. So it's okay. That's all right. So that was so honestly so brilliant. Such a I absolutely loved it. Such such lovely people. Like Dr. Esho is just the sweetest guy. Um, we're gonna go for lunch now. I need a coffee. I'm out of coffee. Yet. And then um, and then we can go for a good shop around then. Confidential. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first of all, can you see how glowing my face looks? It looks amazing, doesn't it? I've got nothing. Well, I've got nothing on it apart from probably moisturizer. That facial was so brilliant, so brilliant. Honestly, you would love it. So I'm going to be able to give you now a bit of a tour around this new flannels. Honestly, I'm blown away. It is really innovative. It's like the concept is completely unique. It's a really modern take on the beauty department store but of course flannels is more than just beauty you've got fashion um, well a lot of fashion you've got men's and women's but also an enormous beauty department and they stock so many incredible brands including Hermes Beauty which I don't I've never tried anything from Hermes Beauty before so I want to go and have a look so me and you will go have a look in a bit babe but these are the beauty changing rooms so you can come inside of these do up your makeup, try on makeup, take selfies. You can also have consultations with any of the beauty department staff. Say if you want like a Dior makeover, but you want it to be like private, you want it to be private because maybe you're self-conscious or you know maybe for religious reasons. And you can come in here and have your own little section. I think it's so clever. No one else is doing it. It's really clever. So I'm just going to add a really like, light amount of makeup. I don't want to put too much on my glowy skin. Can you see how glowy it is? <laughs> Ta-da! Feeling really much more me. I've just not put much on. Although it probably looks like a half, actually. I've not put that much on because I want to keep my skin all nice. Uh, but I'm ready to go. Do you want to do some shopping? First things first. This is so clever. So there's different shopping baskets depending on whether you want to be helped with your shopping or if you want to be left alone with your shopping. Do I think that's really clever? I just want to shop so I know what I need, so I'm going to go for the white basket. Right, let's do it. B is already looking around for things. So we have, uh, do you know what? I might pick up some more Larry. Oh, this is so exciting. B, don't wander off. Oh. Sorry. I'm really excited about this. Oh look! <laughs> He's got his new uh, Nana's mousse. I've seen that on his um, stories a lot. It's so good. I don't it's know, it's the only mousse I use. Uh, there. There, there's one. Is it? Yeah, it's a real one. Yeah, yeah. And is there anything you want? If there's anything you want, put it in the basket, babe. I'll, I'll get anything. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> it is brilliant. It's Rebecca very loves very it as well. Good. Rebecca's been using it. And you can also, with Larry's, you can get the refills. So if you've already got this beautiful bottle, you can just get the refills and put it in. So, is there anything you need that you've not it's got in the moment? Just the shampoos are really good. I think with the condition of now, I feel we've got a few of the others at home. Um, right, there. What takes our fancy? Be? I'll tell you what, these are brilliant. The ones that look at them. The fly patches. I feel like it was the one with the green. It's either the green or the blue. Yeah. I've not seen oh. these before. And they last you like, well, they last you, even if you did one a day for a month, they last you a month. I'm gonna go for this one. Force fry. Acacia collagen and peptides. Still be that be. Thank you should you. be an influencer. This is the new blonde actually. Run out blonde. This this is really really good. Blonde and hamster. What's the one that they say that you should, everyone should have three? Number three. In fact, I'm to yes. I might. But get apparently it lasts forever. Yeah, I'm gonna get another three as well. So Kylie skin. Um, it's very beautifully um, done. It's very pink, isn't it? I mean, I might just get something from Kylie Makeup, actually. Is this really? There's, there's no scent to that. Is it not? I don't think so. I've not tried I'm any of it before. Lost my sense of smell. Blushes. Blushes. Yeah, that's pretty. Like peachy. Powder. Powder blush, yeah. Yeah, it's blush. This looks nice. Bare matte. I like this. Have you seen these? I've never actually looked at them. Yeah, I bought a few of these a few years ago. Very silky. Yeah, they're really silky. Oh, I don't know what to do. Silver, silky. Play. What was that one? Angel. Okay, I like that one. Where do you get that from? I like it. I think I like yours more. I, th I think I Angel, Angel's for me. So this is really exciting. Okay, there's so much I want to try from here. Right, so, to be, we need yeah. to have a look at these. These look great. Looks like me. Number 40, Chambre. 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 I definitely want to try this. Oh, that looks like me. Chambre, that's me, that's oh, for that's me. that's you, that. Yeah, that's beautiful. And these that brushes look stunning. Rosé oh, that's rather pink. Oh, this is really exciting! So we want number 40 in the Plen Air. Natural Enhancing Complexion Bar. Yeah, that is that is very new though. Those two look great. Yeah. I think these are, these are limited edition. I know. So this is shade 505 Beige Doe. And this one is 11 Beige Natural. I think those these are my vibe. So let's get these and the complexion product. And I, I'd like a blush. Are these all the blushes? Do you reckon the number 19? Or should I go? Number 19 was the rose Oh, but this is beautiful. Number, number 23. That, I would say. That's 23 gorgeous. is a bit more unique. Okay, let's go 23. We have got a great little Banner. basket of goodies. Oh, hourglass. Yeah, the display is beautiful. One of my favourites, the ambient lighting powder palette. Oh, look at these tiny concealers. Travel size. Travel, travel size. size? Okay, I want one of these. I want one of these. What's this? Right, cotton. These are just so good for like throwing in your handbag. I really like that. Oh my lord. Wow. I've not seen Bolt. that before. A nice piece shade there. Plus a nice... I did that. Lovely. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, these going for these three. I think I might go for these three. We're going to the clothes. <laughs> B, I'm sure after we've got this for next week we're on the shoot. So funny. Like, yeah, I know, for the shoot.
agenda, it's Saturday and I'm just feeling so like happy and content. We have nothing on this Saturday and it's the only Saturday we have with nothing on until maybe October. So I'm in a really great mood. The blue skies are out. It's just, yeah, it's beautiful. So today I'm just focusing on loads of like household tasks. One of which is putting all of this away. I've got everything still from the Liverpool trip that I need to unpack. Plus lots of things that I've washed and also hand washed that I need to put away. So I thought I would kind of do a bit of a clear out with you guys. I'm also wearing a brand new dress. I actually bought this a few weeks ago and I haven't had any time to unbox it until today. But I was finally like, right, let me have a look at this dress and it's perfect. I am keeping it without a doubt. Look at the back, the way this ties up at the back. It is absolutely stunning. It fits like a dream, it comes down into um, a shorter, it, well, into a midi length. It's beautiful, it needs a steam, it needs a really good steam, but I'm just wearing it today. It's a perfect summer dress just for around the house and, uh, and for doing little tasks like this, really. I mean, it would be gorgeous dressed up with some heels. Have I shown you my new heels? Saw these when they were not online yet. <laughs> I got a little sneak peek of things to come and so I put my name down on pre-order and managed to get these. They're so beautiful. I don't have any other orange shoes. I'm really into orange right now and I also adore this brand. So, so I did treat myself. Let me show you how beautiful these are. I mean, these look so cute with this dress. It's like a pop of colour. I mean, I love a mule as well. Probably mules are probably like my favourite heel to wear these days. Where are they? They're so gorgeous, really, really comfortable, super easy to wear, not too high. I love them. Okay, this is into a bit of a, a new in thing now, but let me know what you think and about the dress. However, I actually, I actually have another pair of shoes to show you as well. And you might be quite surprised at this one. I bought a pair of Birkenstocks for recently. Alex bought some and I was like, they look so comfortable and I've been wearing his around the garden and things. And I was like, do you know what, why have I never bought a pair? Because they look so comfy and they're so like utilitarian. <laughs> anyway, I saw online the Manolo Blahnik Birkenstock collab range. These are just so me with the Perspex finish over the foot instead of like leather. And instead, usually this is like a cork, I think on Birkenstocks, but this is a leather on these, a bit of a thicker, kind of soul but I'm in love I'm absolutely in love with these I mean they're a bit different for me but I'm gonna get so much use out of these I am just in love with them literally here I'll show you these two Holland Cooper I think these are out now I hope so if not they'll be out really soon I'll leave a link if, if so they've just launched wedges and these are so comfortable guys in fact with this dress these would be a dream what's that let me let me lower you down so you can see, by the way, this whole room is a mess in case you think like, whoa, like this is a mess. Everything is a mess. But these are super comfortable. I love the color. They're so wearable. I think that Jade has nailed it with this launch. Just a quick little bow here. I mean, shoes like this were made for dresses like this. <laughs> I mean, look how perfect they are with this dress. I'm definitely gonna be taking this whole ensemble on holiday with me. How beautiful are these? I'm in love. Oh, they look so, they're so perfect. They're so perfect with this. They're so beautifully made, these guys. Like, beautifully made. By far my favorite wedges that I've ever had. There we go. Love that. So, summary. Just to finish off the whole thing as well, the new Holland Cooper bags. This is a, such a great kind of travel beach bag huge but with this look this is so just i'm on holiday feel isn't it yeah this is so nice it's really lovely big it's only making that noise because i've got paper in it to fill it but beautiful absolutely gorgeous what else have i not shown you i think that might be it actually have i oh apart from apart from these two which you'll have seen when I was in Liverpool. These are new additions to my wardrobe. I just absolutely loved them. So these are now mine, the beautiful little Prada bralette and this gorgeous cardigan. 
I put this outfit onto my TikTok before I put it on Instagram or in the vlog and Susie messaged me like, um, if you ever, if you ever want to get rid of that cardigan, please let me know first. I was like, isn't it amazing? So beautiful. Let me just get clearing up and I'll come back to you. show you everything that I bought in flannel so I'll just really quickly show you what I got um I don't think I showed you this this little Valentino belt I've been after a Valentino belt for a while now I saw this one in the store and thought it was the perfect time to get it it's just a simple black belt with a Valentino V but on the back it's red so you can make this completely reversible if I ever did want a red belt so I kind of like that aspect of it I likely will never really wear it on the red but I got the 75 I could have done really with the 70 but I do have a um I have a belt pun puncher so I'll just punch some more holes in it it's no problem though it's kind of cool with the double with a reversible belt you get two belt loops so you can either have it red or you can have it black which is kind of nice yeah, so this one, in case you're looking for this size, there is one that's more mini, there's one that's bigger, and there's one that's bigger again. This one is the two centimeter reverse belt. Cool, right? I just thought I will wear that a lot. My belt collection is quite something now. In fact, that's something I'd like to do today is clean out my belt collection, that's for sure. Then, I'm extremely excited about these Hermes products to try them. Also, the packaging is so beautiful. Like, look at this. So you get the outer casing, then you get a gorgeous little tiny Hermes box, then the lipstick comes out, then you get a little dust case for your lipstick, and then your lipstick looks like this. I mean, it is extreme packaging. And then I got number 11, which is a very me kind of shade. It might be a bit dark for me, for my everyday, but I love it. I'm really, really excited to try it properly. So that was that, and then the blush. I got number 23. In the store, it looked a lot more kind of corally. Again, a little box, it pushes out. It's really nice that you get that, that little Hermes experience when you buy the beauty. This is the packaging. Then as you open it up, is the blush and you get a mirror it's beautiful but look how much more rosy that looks in the store i thought i was buying like a bit of a coral it does have a peachy undertone so i think this will actually be really really gorgeous maybe i'll try it on tell you what let me take some pictures first i want to take some pictures of them because they're so pretty i'll have a little go at putting them on and then i also bought on brianie's recommendation these fortify acacia collagen peptide toning eye patches they just seemed really great and great for travel throw in my bag i've got them so i thought i'd give them a go a new larry king liquid hairbrush it's just a really incredible conditioner it's i mean it kind of says it on the tin liquid hairbrush it's almost like your brush like it's a hairbrush of liquid so everything all the knots come out conditions and then finally just some olaplex products i've just i've tried i've tried both of these especially this one is really really great if you just need an extreme pre-shampoo treatment so this goes on you sort of dampen your hair put this all over leave it for like 10-15 minutes and then you shampoo your hair so it's quite a lovely pre-shampoo i quite like and i've tried this once before the toning shampoo so i thought i'd give it another go i do have my favorites already if i like this so much i thought i'd just give this a go whilst it was there and that's everything from flannel so yeah i feel i've got some i feel i've got some goodies there also check it out me <laughs> on the cover of roller coaster look how like beautiful and shiny this is it's a really thick magazine as well just a really cool coffee table kind of magazine it's you know it's only two a year that they bring out and it's just got all these gorgeous shoots in it it was a shoot with a number of bulgari jewelry pieces it's got that's a gorgeous mew mew outfit there how cool very 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 proud of this very proud i'll leave a link down below if you are wanting to get a copy i would love your support so cool okay i am just gonna do a few little bits of clearing out i think i just want to do like i said my belt collection i also think i'm going to move around some of my tops and my sunglasses and make some more room and have a bit of a Marie Kondo session i think so i'm gonna get on to that now and we're done this is so much better so much better Bags are tidy, shoes are tidy. Well, it's pretty much, pretty much tidy. 
I'm, I'm also rather thrilled with this. Gosh, I had no idea just how many Holland Cooper belts I have. I literally have every single shade and texture. Um, but yeah, I've cleaned up everything, tidied everything up so I can actually see all my belts again. So, I mean, in case any of you ever want to know what one of my belts was, that's Carolina Herrera, Dior, Bottega, Loewe. That's Loewe. This is Dior. Can't remember. That's some huge Valentino. That's a Jacquemus, massively long belt. That's like a vintage coach. Tory Burch, Valentino, Fendi, Dior. That's just something random, I think. Versace, and then we've got all Holland Cooper at the back, so this is far easier now that I can pull out my belts. I also had a good little go at clearing all this up. I've tied up my sunglasses so I can actually see them. I also spent a bit of time, this looks like nothing, but underneath a few of these t-shirts, I have rolled up all my bodysuits so that now I can find my favourite t-shirts and my favourite bodysuits all in here. If I just take out these t-shirts on top, not too bad for a Saturday. We've also been painting some of the walls that we ruined with pictures. We've been putting up mirrors, artwork. What else have we been doing? We've been doing a lot. It's now like four o'clock, so I'm actually gonna chill now. I'm gonna go sit outside in the garden with a gin and tonic and spend some time with my husband. <laughs> So I guess we'll leave this vlog here guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll leave all the links down below for everything that I bought at Flannels, everything I was wearing, anything else you might want to know. And uh, I love you and leave you. Thank you for being here, I'll see you soon.